Hi, this is Robert from Iron Software with a new short tutorial. Recently, a user in the Pixlab forum asked how to create those smoky plasma like lines inside such a ball like this one. And um, yeah, there are currently multiple ways how to do this. You can use a fast noise tool, you can use a plasma tool, or like here in this example, you can use a polyline mask or a set of polyline masks to create this type of effect and in this tutorial i would like you i would like to show you how you can do this in fusion so we just start with a new comp add a background tool and assign some color to it like this one and use polygon mask to create such uh, a line like this one select all the points smooth them out and create an outer polyline for them. Select the points and while holding the O key on the keyboard move the points away from the original polyline. Add some air variation and remove the original animation uh, for these two polylines and then add a pearl trip modifier to them. The pearl modifier um, modifies the position of the points inside the polygon mask in a more random way to create some wavy wobbling animations, something like that. And yeah, to it a gradient like this one, which moves over time. And another polyline. And this is one thing I actually love about Fusion that you can remove the original animation even if the point number doesn't line up. You can connect the polyline to the output of the perturb modifier of the other polyline to create some effect like this one. Yeah, basically, that is the base for creating. Um, the plasma effect in this example, this is polyline created with the uh, method uh, or using displacement and some fast noise displacement to this multiple versions of that using time stretcher and some verges, a sphere map creating a reflection on an upcoming um, 3D mesh, another shader for modifying the reflection and using a set of th three individual spheres um, create a 3D scene like this one, rendering it out and apply some post effects. In this example you also see a visible edge where the reflection on the sphere doesn't line up actually. And the reason is that the points of the polylines have a different position on the right side of the image compared to the left side. And to overcome this issue um, I want to show you another approach using a circular shaped polyline and a coordinate space tool to transform it from polar to rectangular space. And the basic setup for this can be done in exactly the same way. Just start with a new background tool, make the resonance equal, assign some color again, and continue with a new polyline and this time I use the create function um, of that to create a pre-made elliptical shaped polygon like this one um, adding some points modifying the existing ones a bit doesn't actually matter where they, where they are and create an outer polyline function again select these points again and again while holding down the O key um, I move them equally to the inside of their shape, deactivate solid and bring down the level of that polyline again, removing the animation and also assign the pearl tube modifier to both polylines. Then I create a new polygon, just uh, block out some simple points and connect it to the pearl tube modifier of the uh, inner polyline. You see it lines up all, all over the animation. 
Oh, that's great. A coordinates based tool converted into a rectangular space. There's a scale tool to extend this a bit. And you see, if you add a transform tool now and set it to wrap and move it around, there's no visible edge anymore. And yeah, that's it. In the comp, I implemented both approaches and use a dissolve tool to switch between them. And at the end, after rendering, um, you will see that the visible edge is gone. Yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and yeah, thanks for watching.